You're busy, right? I'm Casey. I'm the new kid from Newton. Look, new kid from Newton. Casey is my name, actually. <laughs> I'm sure you were hot shit at your last crappy school, but wow. over here. Warm welcome. But I've heard about you. Good things. You punched your girl in the face and got suspended, so no. Find your way around, all right? Coach said that you were gonna show me around, is that? Classes are in there. Good luck. Yeah? Actually, this super helpful girl showed me around, so. The team captain, Izzy, hates me for some reason. I'm Casey. Nate. It's nice to meet you, Nate. Nate! Yeah. I see you met Newton. I thought your name was Casey. Bye, Newton. You should have heard him after you broke that record. It's why Izzy is so threatened. You're faster than her. You pushed me! I didn't... I did Casey, you'll ice Izzy's wrist and you'll both stand here until you can get along. I need you to watch the baby for an extra couple of hours. Okay. Do you have a kid? Of course not. Not that it's any of your business, but I take care of my three siblings. You do? Yeah. My brother has autism, so I'm like constantly looking out for him. I didn't know that. Dude, how would you know that? You like barely talk to me. I feel like I have to be perfect all the time and it's exhausting. Is that why you were such a dick to me? Probably. Or I might just be a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I think half the reason why I spend so much time with me is because I don't want to go home. Not because he's your boyfriend and you love him very much? No, Nate's awesome, but sometimes it just feels not quite right with him. Mm. Like he's from a different planet and won't ever know what it's like on my planet. <laughs> Do you ever feel that way with Evan? No, 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 not really. <laughs> It's a freaking miracle the two of us are still alive. Oh, I know. You know, I knew you two were gonna fall in love. Our pizza place, Dawn's, is the best. Then maybe we should go there. What now? Get a chance to try out Webster. Can I come? Yeah. Do you want, yeah, if you want to. Okay, then I'll come. <laughs> You're gonna love me. Hey. Um, Newton, is this him? I was her first friend at Clayton. Oh, really? I thought that, uh, that Izzy was. Oh, no, 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 no. I was wicked mm -mm. mean to her. You yeah. were so mean to me? I know, I'm sorry about that, but I'm so nice now. <laughs> <laughs> Casey, you're laughing at jokes that you don't normally laugh at. And then, and then all your friends at Clayton, they know a bunch of personal stuff about you that even I don't know about. They're really cool. You just have to get to know them. I, I, don't, I don't want to get to know your friends. They kind of suck. Hey. Hi. What about the kids? I took them to my grandma's, but she doesn't have a lot of room, so... That's... Oh, you're staying here. Okay, thank yeah. you. No, keep reading. No, I'm oh. stopping. It's too scary. <laughs> Thank you for building this ridiculous fort and reading these scary books just to keep my mind off of what's going on. You're like my new favorite person. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Is that tragic since we just met a little while ago? No. You're my new favorite person too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I forgot I texted Nate. No. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry. He's gonna ruin the girl time. Let's just pretend that we're not here. We're not home. Open the door, you dummies. <laughs> Boys ruin everything. What are you doing? Oh, come on, there's something between us. Friendship. You're my friend's boyfriend. I know, but you can't blame me for being a little confused. Let me clear this up for you. Did you write me a love note? Oh, hey, is. What is that? You know, maybe later. Let me see it. No, 
It's it's not anything. It's nothing. No, it's nothing, really. I don't read nothing. I love nothing. Nothing's my favorite. I was gonna tell you in person, but then I chickened out. You and Nate kissed? No, no, no. He kissed me. That asshole. I know. You know I didn't do anything to make him kiss me, right? Yeah, I believe you. I asked Nate about what happened. He said you kissed him. What? No, I... That is not true. I don't know what to believe. Believe me. Back off, Casey. Casey? What happened to Newton? Dude, I'm sorry. About everything. I was a dick, and I got jealous, and I was afraid of losing someone that I love. I would never come between you and me. Screw him. No, I was afraid of losing you. Oh. I missed you. I, like, really, really missed you. And I just want my girl back. Let's forehead promise to never leave each other again. Okay. <laughs> what is that? Come here, I'll show you. <laughs> 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 Is it obvious that I just made this up? <laughs> hey, Casey. Hey. Mom. I really love him. I know you do. It's just sometimes a thing feels like so right, you know? I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. I know. Since Slurpee night. Yeah. Slurpee night. That was fun. So fun. I'm so glad I have a friend like you. I've had a best girlfriend since I was little. It's nice. Easy. Yeah. Easy. Totally easy. Knock, knock. Oh, thank God. I'm so bored. <laughs> you look pathetic. I back Fizzlers. You brought me your favorite candy. You're welcome. <laughs> Scooch. That is so cozy and warm. Maybe I should go. No, stay. I, I don't know what's going on with you. You haven't been yourself lately. I know. I just feel like, like everything is so good in my life right now and I don't want to do something to mess it up. Almost every year, UCLA recruits a student from Clayton on a track scholarship. LA. I don't know anything about it except for that it's very, very far away from Elsa. I think I might want to go to UCLA. What? Really? UCLA and LA? And I was thinking that maybe you could come too? <laughs> I mean, what does he want to stay here for anyway? What does Evan, like, do? He's just figuring it out. Which is code for doing nothing. I hate you. I know. <laughs> We're having a dinner party. Now, what time will Evan be arriving? He's working, so uh, Izzy's filling in. I'm our date. But the look on Paige's face was well worth the $11, but I gotta say, this suit itches like a bitch. And there's a spot on my back that I can't quite reach. I can reach it. He should have at least called. Right. Whatever. Boys are dumb. We don't need them. <laughs> yeah, screw boys. Thanks for being my date to this insane dinner. Yeah. I don't know this one. I'm Izzy. She came with the suit. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at least you had the decency to show up. What's that supposed to mean? Evan! Hey! 
What's this look about? Oh, I was just saying that I'm glad that he bothered to come instead of just standing us up. Izzy! And what? She's my friend, and I was upset. Paige, I'm sorry. I heard Evan coming, so I just Oh, come on. So this is my fault now? <laughs> Good party. Chill out, dude. Well, you chill out. I would be upset if I were him, too. I thought you two were a couple. What? what? You weren't in school today? No. Is everything OK? No. Uh, my mom, she disappeared, like she sometimes does, and caused a bunch of chaos, like she always does. But we found her, so it's fine. Thank you, Mom, for these. Thank you for letting me stay here. Yeah, of course. And uh, I am so sorry for how I acted at that dinner party. Dude, it's OK. No, it's not OK. I was just stirring shit up just because. What? Because I was jealous. First off, it sucks you're avoiding me. I put myself out there, and I was honest with you, and for that I get the silent treatment. Even if you don't feel the same, you can at least be there for me as a friend. You're making me feel crazy. Honestly, if I knew, that you were gonna be all weird and that this was gonna jeopardize our friendship, I never in a million years would have told you how I felt. Because it is becoming incredibly clear that you don't feel the same way. I'm so confused. <laughs> Me? Yeah. After Slurpee night, you were like, it's good to have friends. We're friends. 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 What was I supposed to say? I don't know the truth. When I told you the truth, you ran away. True. <laughs> I'm sorry. You came around. Did I do something? Did, did you do something? I kissed someone. What? I think that I might have feelings. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> hey, 
Bruce Fenn and Magic? Gay penguins in Australia. I told me about them last night. Wait, did, did you tell Sam about us? So, are you a couple? If we were, would that be a, a problem with you? What? No, why? You'd be like Sven and Magic. Well, I, I didn't tell him anything. He just he saw us before, so. What would be the big deal? He's my brother. The big deal is I don't feel like broadcasting my personal business to the world. Okay, geez. No, it's not okay. When I'm with Izzy, it's so exciting, and uh, kissing her was amazing. <laughs> And when it's just the two of us, she's acts like she's so into me. But when we're around anyone else, it's like she's afraid to be around me. This is just all so new, you know? Yeah, it is. I don't know what any of this means or who I am. Look, I'm confused too. I know. I just think that I need to take it slow. What are you doing? Dancing. We talked about this. I don't need to advertise my personal business to the world. I'm an idiot. You're not. I am pining after this confusing, hot and cold mess of a person. I just never should have done any of this. You're right. You should have pushed these feelings down, down, down forever and never looked at them. That's healthy. I'm sorry. I'm sick of you apologizing. I really like you. Yeah, in this moment, but in 10 minutes, you might be embarrassed by me or kissing some random guy. Just leave me alone. Newton. What? I'm done being weird. As of now, you're training for competitive high school running. This is gonna be more like training for the Olympics. And more importantly, you need to drop the drama. What did Crowley want? Nothing much. She just wanted to congratulate me. I've been thinking you're right. I've been awful to you. I don't wanna be like my mom, but my brain just betrays me sometimes. And you're so good and solid and wonderful. But I get it if, if you don't want to do this. I know I'm not easy. I've spent most of my life just doing whatever is easy. And now I'm doing this EMT stuff. And it's really hard, but it's good. So, you know, just don't, don't do the easy thing. Do, do the hard stuff. I'm not looking for easy. I was wondering if you're going to tell Dad about you and Izzy. Oh, I see. Um, yeah, you know, I have thought about it a lot, really molded over, and I think the answer is butt out. Hey, Beth has been sending me pastry murder videos since Evan and I broke up. Um, they look delicious. Oh, yeah, no, she's an amazing baker. She would be so pissed if she found out that you and I were, you know, hanging out. Hanging out? What, are you 12? Oh, shut up! What am I supposed to call it? Dating. A couple. A couple? Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe I let you convince me to do this. Oh, it'll be fun. Or it'll be terrible, just fun in its own way. Hey, you're new. Welcome, I'm Erica, she, her. 
Casey Gardner. Those are her pronouns. Oh, sorry, I'm dumb. <laughs> I've had boyfriends and well, I, I didn't realize. And then I got my first girlfriend and everything felt so much more me. I, I, don't, I don't know if that makes sense. It does. I guess it's a good thing I don't know how to ride a bike. <laughs> I'd probably ride by my mom doing all kinds of awful shit. Wait, wait, wait. You can't ride a bike? Are you okay? No. This was a terrible idea. Why do I need to learn how to ride a bike? I'm a klutz. Oh, poor little klutz. Crap, you're doing it! Holy crap, I'm doing it! <laughs> well, hello there. What'd I say about leaving this door open? The wind blew it closed. There was a breeze. In fact, I think I feel it again. I'll take your phone. I don't have a phone. Very funny. But if you want to succeed at school and training and being a decent, rested human, it's time to go to bed. I agree with her. Bye. I'll call you in a second. No, you will not. You will call her at 4 a.m. when you wake up. No, you will not. I got a citation. What? There's a rule in socks? I guess. You see, these socks are strictly for running, but Clayton requires a different sock altogether for walking. I mean, if boys wear gym socks, you can't see them because they're under their pants. We should say something. Yeah. Sign my petition? Abolish the Clayton dress code. Will you just sign it, please? What can I do to help? We could plan a protest. It could be big. This is not how we do things at Clayton Prep. Protests? Well, we did submit a petition. If you lose the support of Clayton Prep, say goodbye to this amazing, magical place forever. I'm not sure what's gonna happen to you two. The school will decide from here. If we get suspended or expelled, there goes UCLA for both of us. Hey, it's gonna be okay. You saw the email, right? Did you see the email? Who is this? Oh, shut up. We're not suspended. We're not suspended? Nope. We got a warning. Wait, I didn't get an email yet. Why didn't I get an email yet? Maybe they're going alphabetically, Gardner before Taylor? I mean, who cares? We're not suspended. We're not suspended. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna go celebrate the Clayton way by doing a thousand hours of homework and then maybe some training. So, send me a hot selfie. No thanks, have fun. I was hoping to get kicked out. What? I just never felt like I fit in there. And this year has been so hard that I just felt like an easy way out of all the stress. But now that we're safe, I'm relieved. I'm not safe. What? I got the email. I'm suspended. No, I, I got a warning. Yeah, well. I guess I'm not you. I'm just thinking about how she's not going to be surprised. Who? My mom. In second grade, I had this really cool matchbox car. At recess, this boy James took it, and he wouldn't give it back. Did you murder him? I pushed him. That's my girl. And I thought I was going to be in so much trouble. But you know what she did? She laughed. She expects me to get kicked out. You didn't get kicked out. You're just taking a mandatory rest from your exhausting work as a crusader for justice, that's all. Promise you won't have any fun without me. I couldn't. I'm gonna see her today. Oh, you are? Yeah. She asked me to bring her homework. She asked Hazel and not you. Uh-oh. That does not seem like a good sign. 
So, is Hazel your new girlfriend or what? I had to ask her to bring it. You're grounded, remember? I'm holding it hostage till you tell me I'm your one and only. <laughs> wow. You realize this is the first time I'm seeing your room. Oh. You're my one and only. All right. Ugh. I suck at physics. I'm back. Oh no. Oh my gosh, is that your mom? Can I meet your mom? Please, no. We're in here! Casey, look at you. <laughs> I am so glad to finally meet you. This one's been keeping you from me. Hi, Mrs. Taylor. Sasha, you're a good one. I can tell. <gasps> Ooh, can I do your tarot? Sure. Nope. Come on, it'll be fun. That has not been my experience. Hope, positivity, and you'll never be alone. Why haven't I done tarot before? I didn't know it was just free compliments. <laughs> All right, your turn. No. Come on. Fine. Look at that darkness. I mean, it explains the attraction, the light and the dark. I'm done. Her cards are always like this. I started doing her readings when she was seven years old and there was so much anger and bitterness, even then. Why would a seven-year-old be bitter? Oh, maybe it's because she's busy making her sister a bottle while her mom sleeps one off. I see. You know, I don't really think I'm in the mood to hang out. Maybe you should go. I can sit here quietly. I'll be a very quiet fawn in the woods. No, Casey, please. Please leave. Come on. Don't take out your anger at your mom on me. Actually, I think I might also be angry at you. What? Why? I told you I didn't want to hang out with my mom. Okay, well, I wanted to meet her. And you did, and of course she loves you. What does that mean? It's the same reason why I got suspended and you didn't. You have this charmed life and usually it's whatever, but right now it's really hard to deal with. That's why I asked Hazel to bring me my test and not you. What? That's not Just go, please. I need some space. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm always saying that to you. I'm sorry I'm always saying that to you. It's okay. I pushed to meet her. Maybe I shouldn't have. You're my girlfriend. Of course you should meet my mom. So, you think I'm some golden child that everyone has to tiptoe around? I know your life isn't perfect. I know you're not perfect. It's just, you have these parents that support you so much, it drives you nuts. It's the opposite for me. You have a support system. I am a support system. I'll be your support system. Can you help me get good at physics? Because <laughs> I think I blew this test. I was thinking something more like, Casey, <laughs> look at me, I'm supporting. I did it. What? I looked at the test you gave me and I changed a couple answers. I'm so sorry. I just, you missed a couple and so I filled them out and then I kept going. I'm sorry. Are you mad? Is this homework? No, I'm making something for Izzy. I messed up. She's mad at me. Hmm. Seems like she gets mad a lot, huh? What? Look, if you want this, you have to work. There's no time to make pretty flowers for your girlfriend. You can't take days off. 
Yes, I can. No, you can't. Not if you want UCLA to happen, you can't. Okay, great, thanks. I'm just saying that- Maybe you should think more about yourself and less about me. My mom kicked me out. Or I ran away, I'm not sure. She thinks me dating girls is just a phase. She has no interest in who I am. Well, she is missing out because you are wonderful. Our lives are so different. When my mom has insomnia, she drinks herself to sleep. When your mom has insomnia, she bakes pie. I just felt like you saw what my life was like and thought less of me. What? No. I saw how hard things are and I wanted to help. I just did it in a really dumb way. Look, there's so much I don't know about myself right now, but I know that I'm a protector. And if I think someone I love is in trouble, I try to help. You love me? Of course I love you. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> I have something for you. You made these? I figured you deserve at least one good reading in your lifetime. Oh, this is an excellent one, actually. The Slurpee card. You are brave. Brave enough to tell people how you feel, even if it's scary. People follow you because you are wise. And very, very beautiful. <laughs> Listen to the magic of the tarot. You're fast as the wind. Your courage will take you far. And you are very, very beautiful. <laughs> you care. And you speak up for people. Because no one ever spoke up for you. That is why I do it. So I was looking through your bag to find a t-shirt to steal. Invasive. And you realize that all you packed are like a bunch of socks and a sports bra, right? Yeah, I know. I packed up pretty quickly. <laughs> My mom kicked me out. Oh, I didn't, what happened? Oh, you know, just my mom being my mom. Do you want to go to a party? <laughs> Erica's having some people over and might be fun. What about the track meet? I mean, shouldn't we be like resting up? Probably. Mm. But I told her I'd be there. But it's okay. I'll just go by myself. No, I'll go with you. You will? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you two are like the perfect couple. I am never going to find this. Oh, no, we have issues, too. She just did a test for me last week. No, are you serious? Yeah. But I'm not mad about it anymore. There is just this one tiny thing that still bothers me. What? Well, I just know if the school found out, nothing would happen to Casey. Like, like if she just walked in there and turned herself in. But if they thought it was me, I mean, I would be kicked out for sure. Casey's just like untouchable. <laughs> Is that, no way. That's crazy. Are you opening my mail? I'm sorry. It said UCLA. I got excited. It's an official letter of interest. That means they're really interested in you. They're even going to send a recruiter to watch you run at the next race. Our little speedster. I am so proud of you, Casey. Me too. It's happening. For both of us. No. For you. I cheated. I did Izzy's physics test. And I'm prepared to accept my punishment, whatever it may be. I appreciate that. Thanks for letting me know. We're all good. What? You didn't really turn yourself in, did you? I tried. You were right. I guess I owe you $100. Why would you do that? Because of what I said at the party? I was just being dumb. I didn't want you to actually do it. Yeah, I know. I just, I felt like I had to. You know it's okay for people to recognize you're special. Ugh. It was less stressful when no one noticed me at all.
you okay? What happened? You just walked off. Are you hurt? No. Are you sick? No, I'm... What? I couldn't do it. Do what? Run? Yeah. It was just too much. People expect too much from me. Okay. I just couldn't breathe. Oh, no. I mean, track used to be fun. It used to be the only time I could breathe. But today I couldn't. Okay. Okay. It's okay. I missed you. Get over here. <laughs> you seem so good. <laughs> I'm glad you seem so good. I feel good. I haven't run in a week. Whoa, really? Yeah. You're gonna have to work hard to get back into shape. No, I won't. Cocky again, too. I love it. No, I mean, I'm quitting track. What? If you quit, you're gonna lose your Clayton scholarship. I know all that. And I've thought about this a lot. I used to love running so much. It was the only thing I loved that much. And ever since the UCLA stuff, the love has just changed. It's become stress and anxiety. It's a pit in my stomach. And what about Clayton? I don't like Clayton. I never did. I like you. <laughs> and I don't want to lose you. But we don't have to go to the same school to be together. Maybe you just need more time. No, I don't. Now I'm gonna have a lot more time for the things I love. Like you. I'm worried about your daughter, and you should be too. I am worried about Casey. I have been all year. She's fallen apart, and I've never seen her like that. And you know what's new? You. All your drama. So yeah, I am worried. I'm worried that the thing that's making her life so hard right now is you. But she won't admit it, so she's blaming running. Are you okay? I think we need to break up. What? I'm not good for you. You haven't been yourself the last few months. You've been stressed and anxious and Pulling away from anything that's not school. What? No. And now you want to quit track. This isn't you. Everything changed once we started dating. I don't want to be the reason you don't do the things you want to do. But that's not even I'm what I'm sorry. About. Izzy. I love Izzy so much, but I just feel like that's not enough. Casey! Sam! Are you okay? Yeah. You're running. I know. You're driving. I want to come back to the team, if you'll have me. We'll have you back, of course. We are exceptionally mediocre, and you are freaky fast. <laughs> You're really doing it. You're leaving. I mean, you know better than anyone. I don't want to be here. I never have. I just wanted to ask you, I got an invitation to your brother's going away party and I wanted to go. For Sam? Yeah. Is that weird? Well, you should know. It's also a party for a testicle, so. Yeah. <laughs> the evite was very clear. <laughs> It's not weird. You should come. Okay. Is your dad gonna be there? Yeah, probably. Why? What the hell did you do? Whoa, whoa. You told Izzy she wasn't good for me? Why would you do that? It just slipped out. And I'm sorry if I hurt her feelings, but what I said, it was the truth. No, it's not. But it doesn't matter because you got what you wanted. We broke up. I'm sorry, Casey. No, you're not. Casey. Don't talk to me.
Will you give me a tattoo? You sure? I'm sure. That wasn't fair, what you did. Breaking up with me like that, it wasn't fair. I mean, if you break up with me because you're not in love with me, fine. It makes me want to puke, but fine. That's not it. But if it's because you think it's what's best for me, that is so condescending. I can decide what's best. Me being your girlfriend was making everything worse. Why would you think that? Because it's true. I mean, think about when we met. I was so mean. And then we got together and I kissed someone else. It's what I do. I ruin things. I'm a ruin. Stop it. Don't talk about yourself like that. It was condescending. I just convinced myself that I was going to mess things up with us. And when you were so, so upset, I blamed myself. But you're right. I shouldn't have. And now all I want to do is kiss you. I'm okay with that. Are we still a couple when you go back to Newton? Yeah, of course. My mom isn't here. Do you want to stay? Yeah. Okay. Are you sure you're ready to? Yeah. Okay. Is that a tattoo? Yeah, I'm a bad boy. <laughs> And apparently for a Division Three school, Denton's pretty good. And I wouldn't have to move far. I could live here if I wanted to. You don't want to live here now. It's not terrible. Free food, haircuts. So is UCLA not an option anymore? I don't know. I'm not asking. Who's that lady? That is Emily. Who's Emily? Emily works at UCLA. Mom. You are a brave, strong person. And you can handle scary things. And I'm not saying you have to go to UCLA. Just go meet with a nice lady. So this thing happened. Elsa tricked me. You think she's nice, but she's nothing but trouble. Mm -hmm. She completely lied to me. She made me eat healthy snacks. She talked my ear off. What are you trying to tell me? I met with a scout from UCLA. Wow. So did I. Really? Yeah. Emily? Emily. Holy crap. I know. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to happen. Two years ago, they took three kids. That's crazy. I know. And their coach is like best friends with Coach Crowley. Crowley has friends? Casey, we could go together, the two of us, to California. If either of us gets in, that person needs to go. Whether or not the other one does. Promise? Promise. Let's forehead promise and never leave each other again. Forehead promise? <laughs> forehead promise. <laughs>